Greetings. My name is Professor Peter P. Peterson, but you can just call me P. 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 I recently discovered a new game called Stationius. In this game, you can build a highly complicated self-sustaining base, and my favorite part of all is that it allows you to overpressurize a room, which always ends in kaboom. That is what gave me the dream to create the perfect human cannon. I began this project by creating a big room that I was going to overpressurize. That was my first mistake. My second mistake was attempting to fill the room using gas canisters, which was highly monotonous and almost as boring as my chemistry course in college. I mean, just look at how long this took. For every single portly. Luckily, about a week later, I discovered a magic special button called F5. This incredible button allows you to create a massive burst of air in your current location, making everything I done prior to that a complete waste of my time. I made my little astronaut go into the room, lock the blast door, and then I pressed the F5 button, immediately killing my astronaut. Luckily, I learned later that I could hold the walking backwards button while pressing F5 to hold my astronaut in place without killing him. But then a new problem came up. The kilopascals rose over 9,000, and that's even greater than the surface pressure of Venus, which crushes every single thing we land on it. And that's extremely problematic for our little astronaut, as the human body was not designed to withstand the intense emotional pressure of a highly pressurized room. I'm going to die! After the unfortunate second death of my astronaut, he respawned and I stood him on top of the blast door, launching him into space by using the crowbar. I tried over and over, killing my astronaut multiple times, but this was the best megapascal result I could come up with. The height reach was quite decent, but I still needed to perfect it. Or seemed lost for many years. But then, one month after beginning this project, I learned three fantastic new discoveries. Number one, I could change the gravity setting to really low. Two, I could create ice through a corner, creating a semi-decent amount of pressure. Number three, I'm stupid and should have used a room with a single cube radius. It pressurizes insanely quickly. Oh, and by the way, I did have an equine buddy of mine join me. He didn't help me build anything, but he did stick around to watch the show. With nearly zero gravity, I began my final attempt to create the perfect human cannon. From then on, everything went along swimmingly. Too swimmingly, as the pressure soon climbed beyond 200 entire megapascals. I began to fear that if I continued on this path, I could end up creating a singularity that would swallow the entirety of Mars. Sorry, Mr. Musk. Looks like you'll have to go to a different planet. I suggest Europa. It's named after my favorite country. But luckily for Elon, I decided to stop at 251 megapascals and finally launched the astronaut into space. One small pressurized room for man. One giant launch into the atmos. Here? We? Go! You probably guessed it, but this is not actually the perfect human cannon. This is in fact just a simple demonstration of the power of the cannon. It is not through laziness that makes me not do the cannon as perfect as possible. No, I wanted to inspire people to create a much more perfect cannon than I have created. Because that is the best part of science. It is never up to one single person alone. And that's where I want to leave this on. I leave, want to leave this with you creating your own if you own this game. So if you own this game, Good luck! Oh, and by the way, thank you for watching! It is appreciated! And with that, I'll leave you with the rest of the Ascension.